Right guys, let's save some history. There is one more piece that I wasn't able to fit onto the truck. Uh, they had a, a whole big counter shaft thing built onto the, the back end of this thing, uh, but it does have the original cone pulley and a motor. Uh, maybe there might be a few other little odds and ends there, but I definitely going to need that pulley if I want to put this thing on a line shaft. Otherwise, I'll have to make a new one, and that's probably over $100 just to make the casting, plus all my time. All right, guys, let's uh, see if we can get some of this stuff lubed up a little bit. Make sure to shoot some penetrant down inside these oiling holes. That'll probably help uh, loosen some stuff up. Well, that is really tight. Gonna find all them little holes. This knob right here, this is the one that I think would match the one that's broke off of the compound here. There's another hole right there. And they've done some Mickey Mouse repairs on here. All right, let's see what's under door number one here. All right, well, here's the banjo. And all these gears here look, uh, eh, they look okay. I don't see anything broken right offhand. Again, everything is terribly dirty. Uh, well, this probably, all this stuff is going to be coming off pretty quick so that we can clean it up and get everything moving again. Uh, here's the reversing lever, which that I'm sure is tight right now. And there's the back gear. Oh, there's a little set screw here. I wonder if that's just tight. I'll have to check that. All right. All right, guys. Let's see if we can't get this door off of here. There's a little wing nut here. Threads into the back. I'm pretty sure that sits in a groove and uh, keeps the door from, from coming off. Let's see if we can't pick it up and take this thing off of here and put it in the shop. Yeah, that's coming up. There we go. I'll have to put that into storage. All right, this is the uh, hinge that holds the gear guard on. And uh, there's two screws that clamp it onto the, uh, the way. I think I may have to move this banjo to get it out of here, but let's see if, uh, see if this has come loose at all. Oh yeah, 
Nice and easy. Yeah, see that wrench is coming in handy already. Yeah. It's not too bad. A little gummy. Get cleaned up, paint it, put her back together. Alright. Got that moving. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it out that way. All right, let's see what we can do about this, uh, this banjo assembly. All right, let's get a little oil on here some more. Should be able to loosen this. This is a clamp, and that should swing out of the way. That'll at least let us get the hinge off of the thing. All right. Screw come loose pretty easy. All right. Well, let's take this piece off first, I suppose. All right. Now, I don't know if I can take that off. It's one piece here. Or if I gotta take the You know, I bet I gotta take this one gear off here for sure. All right, let me get a bigger wrench. It's a pretty good size. All right, guys, for antique machines, you need antique tools, right? There's an old Ford wrench. Let's see if we can get this guy to work on here. Oh, a little bit too tight. So whenever you use an adjustable wrench, it's always good to tighten it up onto the part. Turning, but I don't know if I'm turning the lead screw or not. All right, let me get a dead blow hammer and tap on it. All right, give her a little liquid love. Be careful not to put your hand anywhere where it's going to get sucked into a gear. Turning. Let's try going back the other way, see if we can. Now, lead screw is turning. Yeah, let's see here, let's see what we can do to stop that. All right, well, half nuts are not engaged right now, so let's, let's engage the half nuts, see if they actually closed. Or is it? Yeah. Okay, that's closed. I think. Why? Sure don't seem like he's grabbing. Hmm. I wonder if we we may have no half nut left. I don't know. Hopefully that ain't the case. Well, let's see if that don't help at all. All right, well, uh, the half nuts don't seem to be holding, but let's see if we can't maybe put this little piece of poplar here. Let's see if we can get this to go into the threads or the go into mesh. Maybe that'll keep it from turning. All right, well, that ain't working, so maybe a little fire.
see if that did anything yet. There it goes. All right. And when you heat up the nut, if that bolt stays cold or colder relatively, the heat will make that nut expand. You know, break the break the part that's seized apart. All right. So don't touch that right now. We'll uh we'll cool that off and <laughs> lube it up a little bit so we can get it to come off. All right. It's still a little bit warm, but we can get it off of here. All right, that gear come off nice and easy. These are beautiful gears. I love the, I love the spoked pattern. You know, modern gear it would just be a solid disc in there probably. But anyway, Will that gear there come off. Well, I gotta say that's awfully loose, ain't it? Wonder if we can get this one off. Probably we'll have to do the same thing here. Oh, hey, look at that. That one's come right off. Somebody probably worked on this thing here not too long back. That, I'm sure, is an original part. Square nut. It's not even centered very well, really. But, you know, it was just a nut. Washer there. Stack these parts up the same way they're coming off. Those two gears are attached, but they look like they're separate. Well, for the time being, I think I'm just going to leave them just as they sit. And there's no gear or no uh, no keyway on that, which makes sense because I suppose then this thing would want to be spinning, right? I don't want to come loose. <clears throat> Maybe this is frozen on there too. That should just be a thing that slips over the bolt. Give that a tap or two, see what happens. Not too hard, I don't want to break my band deal. Pretty sure South Bend just stopped carrying them here not too long back. I can see it wiggling just a little. I'm gonna break out of there. Starting to move. There it goes. Now it's driving it out of there. All right. Yeah, that thing should be a lot more free than that. All right. That looks like there was some grease on it. That probably saved me a lot of effort. So we'll we'll take this and we'll put all the gear and everything back onto it and stack it up the way it was on there. If I can remember which way it was on there. I think it was like this. We'll have to review the film. Alright, now we should be able to get this, this banjo to come off. It should just slip off of this, I would think. Well, maybe this gear has got to come out of there. And I noticed something else too. The bracket holding the lead screw, you know, it's moving. This bracket holding the lead screw on is not tight. So that makes me wonder sort of what's been going on. Yeah, it looks like this thing is gonna slip off right over that gear. So I'm gonna just do that. There 
it goes. Okay, I remember, it goes this way, back on. <laughs> With the bolt facing up. Well, I tapped on this here and I got it to slip off. There is a keyway right here though. And uh, I sure don't want to lose that key. So I think for right now, I'm probably gonna put the nut that was on there back on, which was, which one? I think this, let's see. Let's put the gear, yeah, this gear. And the hex nut we'll put that on there that'll keep us from losing any pieces uh, it's always kind of good to try to keep everything sitting together and see a bolt right here i haven't hit any oil onto it's good to get this stuff all lubed up right now so it can be soaking If you guys like old equipment and uh, seeing how to get it fixed up, why don't you click on the uh, subscribe icon over here, picture of the old horizontal mill, and uh, check out these other videos that are coming up here in a second, and uh, we'll see you around.